if you are interested in knowing anything about studying diagnostic radiography at uj this video is for you i'll be um telling you everything about diagnostic radiography from the, the from the application process all the way to actually being a student so i will divide this video into two because there's a lot of content to share and if i put it in one it's gonna be too long so the first part will be the application process part and then the second part is the part about finding a training institution or a hospital where you will do your training at. And this is influenced by the fact that um, ever since I started doing radiography, each time in the beginning of the year, I'd get somebody either DM me on Instagram or send me a text on, um, or send me a text on Facebook or a relative sending me a text about their relative who applied for radiography at UJ but beginning of the year when the metric results come out UJ does not give them a response even if they passed really well and this is usually because they don't have a training institution so um I'll talk more about finding a training institution in the second part of this video so for now let's get right into the application process part <music> and this is my loudness today i'm talking everything about radiography everything you'd like to know about radiography firstly we'll start by differentiating between a radiographer and a radiologist i get a lot of people asking me Thea, how, what what subjects do i need in high school if i want to be a radiologist or how long does it take to study to be a radiologist blah 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 so just to put it out there there's a difference between a radiographer and a radiologist and for me to define or to differentiate between those two i'll first define what radiology itself is so radiology is um basically the the imaging of the body by using radiation that is the simplest way i could define it so we we take pictures of the body and we use x-rays to take those pictures i hope that makes sense so the radiographer which is me is the person that uh, performs the study it's the person that takes the pictures and then the radiologist which is the doctor is the person that takes the pictures that i took and they study them or they interpret them and then they give a formal report to the patient so not all patients get to be seen by a radiologist so only those with complex cases get to get to get to be reported by the um the radiologist so the so you as a radiographer should also be able to look at an image and interpret it you should be able to understand that if a patient comes presenting with these signs and the x-rays look like this then the patient has this specific disease so you need to know all of that because sometimes doctors need information and you as a radiographer are the one who has to step in and say but this patient had one to see and sometimes those patients then get to be seen by a radiologist so you have to be in a position to say but this case has to be seen by a radiologist so yeah that is the difference between a radiographer and a radiologist radiographer takes the pictures radiologist interprets the pictures and gives the the patient their if the diagnosis right so let's take it back to how to become a radiographer so just for argument's sake for you to become a radiologist you first need to do medicine and qualify as a gp and then after that you specialize in radiology so it's kind of process it takes years um yeah anyway to become a radiographer um i'll be speaking specifically with diagnostic radiography at uj but uh, i know that um the process is similar in other universities as well it might not be exactly the same but it can be similar and i am speaking from a perspective of a diagnostic radiographer because i know because there are other disciplines in radio in radiology uh uj offers all those disciplines so you have diagnostic radiography you have ultrasound nuclear medicine and radiation therapy and um yeah so initially uj used to offer this used to offer um 
radiography as a national diploma but they phased out that qualification and introduced a degree program so my group was the first group to do a degree in uj we were the very first class to do a degree so previously they would do a three-year national diploma so after the national diploma if you would wish to study further and have a phd and become a doctor in radiography you would have to do your national diploma after that you do a BTEC and then you do uh, an honors degree then a master's and then you get to do your phd however the four-year degree program that uj introduced uh, allows you to go straight from the the degree to a master's and then you can do your phd so it it eliminated the honors year because the degree that we have is at the level of an honors degree anyway for you to qualify to qualify to study diagnostic radiography you should have done math physics and um, english in high school and your minimum mark for those need to be for those three subjects needs to be 60 percent each and um upon application uj will send you an sms no an email or an sms as well to um, confirm that they have received the application and this does not say that you have been accepted they are just letting you know that you have applied for this um, qualification at uj and we are going to look at your marks to see if you qualify or if you met the require the minimum requirements and then the second notification you'll receive from UJ is that you have been provincially accepted or conditionally accepted. This means that you do meet the minimum requirements. Therefore, we accept you at a condition. Given that your metric results, that's if you applied using your grade 11 and year results. So they will conditionally accept you given that your metric results will be as good as your grade 11 results if not better so it's up to you to keep that standard or do something higher than that or when they send you that um list of that email that you have been conditionally accepted they will also send you a list of hospitals that uj works with to train students as a health student you will need to do your work in theory that's in class or in in, on campus and you also need to do it practically in a hospital setup in where you see real patients and you do real exams because in school you do that with real machines but with um with what do you call with dummies with dolls so you also need that practical practice with real patients so when you do send you that conditionally accepted email they also send you a list of hospitals that they work with and they tell you that um you need to go and find a hospital and also before they can fully accept you you need to have at least i think it was 16 hours or so of observation so you need to go and spend 16 hours in a radiology department just to see what they do how they work and that when you become a radiographer or when you are fully accepted as a student at uj you have a uh, basic understanding of what to expect when you qualify but i'm going to do a full video on that uh, on finding a hospital and all of that in another video on the part two of this video so when you receive that letter you have to go and observe at a hospital so spend some hours spend hours observing how radiographers work then wherever you go to practice they'll give you a form where they fill out to say okay theodora mary was here to observe and she spent so many hours she saw this and this and that because also in diagnostic radiography we have other branches uh of we have other branches of disciplines so it's there is radiography and then under radiography you have um diagnostic radiography you have ultrasound nuclear medicine and radiation therapy and then under diagnostic radiography you also have the other branches so um you have to go and observe in all of those so you have general radiography and the images look a little like um this here and then you have specialized radiography and it looks 
like all of these here and so you need to go and observe in both the general and the complex and the specialized ones then you can submit the proof of um what do you call proof of observation at uj then they will also use that when they finally have to accept you at the end of the year with your metric results when your metric results come out and you have passed and you have also gotten a hospital where you practice at don't forget that after this video please do go and watch the other video on how to get a hospital so if you've done well in your metric results and you have also been accepted to practice at a, at a hospital then uj fully accepts you and then you can start with your learning program usually what happens at uj is that um with us in first year we spent six months of theory six months of not going to hospital just being on campus doing theory and doing the practical on dummies on doors in the um campus clinic and then from there from that from from the second half of the year until the end of your your degree you go to work two out you go to school on campus you spend two weeks and then the other two weeks you spend it on camp on on in practice you go to the hospital spend two weeks at on campus two weeks at the at hospital two weeks campus two weeks at the hospital until you finish your training so um this is it for our part one of this video let's get to part two where i tell you about how to get a hospital oh so uj works with private and public hospitals so i'll also be telling you the difference between those two and how to choose how to decide which one to go to and yeah all the things in between let's get right into part two